So here we are, Adirondacks, solo overnight hot tent camping, slash bear hunt. Stick around. Okay, so camp set up. Lucky enough, uh, it's close to the, the road here, so I did haul in some, some hardwood and softwood for uh, the evening, some chunks. I'll gather up some smaller stuff in a bit. Stove's all ready to go. It's not cold enough to fire it up yet. I'm actually worked up a sweat, setting everything up. Got the cot there, my military bag, uh, some cooking stuff, and gear, emptied out my, uh, my backpack in here. So I got everything where I know where it is. Got the 30 odd six, that's Savage Axis, ready to go uh, bear hunting. It has the uh, Boyd's stock upgrade, Dash Industries upgrades throughout, and beautiful Detroit leather shop sling. So we're gonna hopefully see some bear. I'm gonna go out a little bit before dark here. Well, it's, it's only a little bit afternoon right now. 
So I'm going to relax for a little bit, head out in the woods before dark, and uh, see what I can find this evening. And then I'll stop back and I'll head out again in the morning. But it's a beautiful location right here. Fall is happening. with me see what we can find looks like a good spot as any came back early I was sitting up there wasn't seeing anything and uh, I remembered while I was sitting there I forgot my headlamp and I'm not familiar with these woods. I did not want to walk back in the pitch black. There's not a trail. Um, it's just woods. And I was a good, I was a good distance back. So I got hungry anyways. It started to get real chilly. It's almost sundown right now. Um, I got back, started a fire real quick. It didn't take long. Um, got the pan, the cold handle on here. I'm gonna fire up some, uh, some dinner and uh go from there what i'm what i got tonight is uh i like bringing this stuff out it's so simple this ben's uncle ben's fried rice it's pre-cooked basically just have to heat it up it's meant for a microwave but it works great in a pan i got a couple burger patties i'm gonna grind up with the rice and i have some taco seasoning and then throw some shredded cheese over it that's dinner um for dessert later I think I got some cinnamon buns and got some pretzels and stuff to snack on I gotta have a nice cup of chaga tea later but first now that I'm done hunting let's go with that so the Daniel outdoors tent so far so good the stove rocks um, I'm a big guy I think I would like a little bit bigger hot tent um, just because by the time we get the wood the stove situated your gear in here yeah looking good so I'm gonna throw some dinner on and I'll see you guys in a bit quick tip if you're ever in a hot tent got a wood stove or any kind of stove propane anything in an enclosed space like this do yourself a favor ahead of time pick up a carbon monoxide detector they're cheap I think I got one for 12 maybe $13 or something on Amazon um, I have it in here right over behind the wood pile there you don't smell carbon monoxide you'll be sleeping and you'll just keep sleeping you'll never wake up so it's good to have it's good safety precaution I use it in my ice shanty when I'm ice fishing if it's sealed up tight Especially if I was spending the night out there and I got the propane running. Um, they do have safety switches on the propane, but don't trust it. Get yourself a, a tester, a detector. So. Oh yeah, look at that. Almost done. Got the taco seasoning in there. That is a great little camp meal right there. Okay, look at that tastiness. So, hmm, try to let you know it was good. So, I'm gonna eat my dinner, drink my beer, relax by the fireplace here, and uh, I'll check back in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Coffee's on the stove. It's about five o'clock, 10 after maybe now. Um, took a took a walk out it's raining out a little mist it's chilly out uh, I slept like a log I had to get up a couple times I wanted to keep the fire going I probably didn't need it going 
because it was warm in here. But I was afraid that if it went out, I didn't want to mess with it in the middle of the night. So I kept throwing a little bit on all night long um, just to keep it going. But, I mean, it went three, four hours at a rip sometimes. And it still had hot coals to be able to just throw some in, something in to get it started again. So happy with that. Um, I'm going to have some coffee. And then I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. The sun is coming up, so not quite yet, but you can just see that little break of dawn sort of shimmer in the, the night sky out there. I just took a peek. Um, I'm going to down my cup of coffee. I got an old breakfast sandwich that I just wrapped in foil. I'm going to throw on top of the fire here, heat it up quick, eat that down so I got some nutrients in me. Um, get changed quick, grab the gun, and I'm going to hit the woods. Didn't see anything out there today, so heading back to camp here. I'm going to start breaking down camp, pack up. I may take another walk in the woods uh, before I go. I might try another spot on the way out of here, but we'll see how it goes. See how things pack up and everything. No luck out there. Found some good spots to sit and just didn't see anything. That's how it goes sometimes. Not considering this a bad outing. Had a great time in the hot tent. Beautiful Adirondack weather. It was a little warmer yesterday. Nice and cool today. Got real cold in the night. Got windy. That hot tent and the stove did its job. I slept comfortably. Had to get up a couple times, throw some logs on. But overall, had a blast. Get out here, try it sometime. It's awesome.